the earth shaking booms and the bangs and the weird yellow clouds that stained the washing in Lundholm Road and came from Nobel's explosives factory were part of my life for so long, maybe part of your life too. It's very different down there now, at Aldir and Stevenson. Nature's reclaiming the peninsula and its future's uncertain. These days, it's easy to forget that the factory, at its height, gave 13,000 local people skilled, secure, well-paid and often dangerous jobs. My memories of our dear are both good and bad. Memories are like that, a mixed bag. But like many of us, I was forged in that fire and growing up down there has made me who I am today. This film was made using Zoom and Adobe Premiere Pro during lockdown. Everyone involved gave their time unpaid. So in 2021, marking 150 years of Nobel at our dear, we hope you enjoy it. Maybe more importantly, we hope it makes you think about what our dear means to you and how we can all move forward together into the future. This is, this is a story. story about what happens when you mix stuff together and come up with something new, something special, something unique, something powerful. This is, this is a, a story. story about Alfie, Alfred Nobel. We've a tale to tell about Alfie Nobel. We've a tale to tell about Alfie Nobel. Peace Prize Nobel. This is well before any Peace Prizes. This is back when Alfie is a young chemist. The young chemist who invents dynamite. Light the touch paper, cover your ears and run. Light the fuse, cover your ears and run. It's 1846. Switzerland. Switzerland. Christian Schoenbein accidentally invents nitrocellulose when mopping up a mixture of nitric and sulfuric acids from the kitchen table with an apron. He hangs his apron over the oven door to dry. As you do. Boom! Look at the state of yon penny. It's 1847. Excellent. A Scania Sobrero invents nitroglycerin. An oily liquid so unstable that the slightest jolt can cause spontaneous detonation. Boom! Boom. Nitroglycerin, nitro, nitroglycerin, C, carbon atoms, 3, H, hydrogen, 5 of E, N, nitrogen, 2 is fine, O, oxygen, let's have 9, C, 3, H, 5, N, 2, O, 9, sing it loud, sing it right. It's 1867, in Sweden, Alfie, Alfred Nobel mixes nitroglycerin with Kieselger, a type of clay found on the Isle of Skye and invents dynamite. From the Greek word, dynamis. It means power. Game changer. Big Big boom. boom! Dynamite has all the power of nitroglycerin. It's more stable. Safer. I bet. And useful. So useful. For quarrying. For mining. For mining gold. Platinum, diamonds, slate, ironstone, potash, marble, granite, coal. Alfie is a chemist, an inventor, and a businessman. Alfie Nobel is my name. Making money is the game. My inventions change the world, make it safer, because folk will pay for better, cheaper, bigger booms. The past is past, the future looms. Nobel opens factories all over the world to manufacture his dynamite. Factories in Sweden, Norway, Germany, Austria, Finland, Portugal, Switzerland, Hungary, South Africa, Canada, the USA, France, Japan, Belgium, Stevenston, Stevenston. Stevenston. Alfie yeah. wants to open a factory here. 
Here, yes, here, here in our dear. While considering several sites in the UK, Nobel visits the Ardeer Peninsula in Stevenson, which in the late 1860s is known for its mines, quarries, ironworks, enviable transport links in the form of two railways and a canal. And, and, <laughs> it's sand dunes. Very handy for deadening any unintended explosions. <laughs> Oh, I do want to build beside the seaside. Oh, I do want to build beside the sea. Oh, I do want to build beside the sand, 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 where the marrow grass grows, and it will be grand, grand, grand. Yes, I'll make my explosions by the seaside. Also, dunes are a friend to you and me. And the wages I will pay, they'll really make good day by the seaside, beside the sea. He sounds quite a guy. Wish I'd met him. Alfred Nobel forms a partnership with several Glasgow businessmen to purchase a section of the Ardia Peninsula from the Lord Eglinton. Jobs for yes. everyone! Good jobs, well paid jobs. Dangerous jobs, jobs for the boys. Jobs for the girls. Mainly employed for their nimble fingers and attention to detail. The British Dynamite Company breaks ground at Aldea. For the next century and a half. The fortunes of Elfie Nobel and... Stevenson will be inextricably linked. Mm, yeah, that is a big word for such a wee lassie. <laughs> By 1873, there are 40 buildings and 100 employees making nitroglycerin and dynamite at Ardeer. This is only the beginning. In 1875, Nobel invents gelignite. Blast in gelatin. Jelly is even more powerful than, uh, than dynamite. And it's waterproof. The factory grows. And grows. And grows. 1897. The workforce stands at 1,300. One, one third, third are, are women, women and girls. Tramways and lines of pipes and trestles cross each other diversely, all connected to the railway tracks which join the Glasgow line and carry the finished product to Irvine Harbour from where ships transport the dynamite and gelignite to customers all over the world. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A reports Mr. Henry J. W. Dam in an article for McClure's magazine, an American publication, after he visits the factory in 1897. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what about us? Aye, what about the workers? Mary McAdam. Annie Brannan. Wee Maggie Brannan from Our Dear Square. Rachel Allison from Kyleswell Street. The debts. The dynamite. The cartridge huts. Did you write about us, Mr. Henry J.W. Dam? The young ladies employed in this dangerous work are all strictly beautiful. Everyone who visits the factory admits this. No one, in fact, seems inclined to invidious comparisons among the strong and courageous girls. Not when each of them has enough dynamite in her possession to blow a hole in Scotland. <laughs> Moreover, there is some reason for the statement. The breathing of natural glycerin gives, by the workers gives a universal clearness of skin. And among the fairer girls, the contrast of scarlet and white in their faces is most unusual. You learn, perhaps in consequence of their complexions, the girls marry quickly after entering the factory. Up the workers! The factory expands and, and expands. The bigger it gets, the more employees it needs. From Stevenston, salt coats. A drawson. Kill winning. Irvin. West Kilbride. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Alfred Nobel dies in San Remo, Italy. He's only 63. But his name lives on, because even though his explosives continue to be used in mining and construction, it's in the manufacture of armaments that he really makes his money. Loads of money. Armaments? Munitions. Weapons of mass destruction. By the end of the 19th century, we are making cordite. The new smokeless propellants. Propellants don't go boom. Propellants are detonators and provide the smaller, more controlled explosion needed to produce the gradual release of gas required to push a shell or a bullet along the length of a gun barrel. Therefore, propellants go bang. The Great British Empire needs dynamite, gel ignite and cordite. During his lifetime, Nobel witnesses the use of his inventions towards violent ends. And he's not happy. Not happy at all. See, Alfie's a pacifist. He doesn't like wars and fighting. He's Swedish. Jobs for everyone! Good jobs. Well paid jobs. Dangerous jobs. Jobs for the boys. Jobs for the girls. The Great British Empire needs dynamite, gel ignite and cordite. Wars are good for business. The Great British Empire needs... With the men away fighting, women and the girls take over the jobs. We come in our hundreds. Thousands. From salt cuts. Evenson, Kilwinning, Irvine, West Kilbride, Dreghorn. Even Galston. We learn the ropes from the lassies already working there. We make friends, connections. Down at the dynamite, the workforce will soar. At the site to 13,000. Mr Nobel, was I an equal opportunities employer? We were cheaper. Be for yourself. For doing war work, we're important. The factories heavily defended to protect the works from attack. We get observation posts. Barrage balloons, searchlights, we get a detachment from the Royal Artillery Garrison. There's 12 of us to a hut. The fumes and the peppery smells of the cordite makes you sleepy. And it's worse on the night shift when the big black shutters are on the windows. We all hate the night shift, but you do it. One night, we hear the engines overhead, but we're not allowed to leave our post till the air raid sirens sound. This time it doesn't, because our anti-aircraft guns start firing and only when the German bombers begin dropping their payload does the siren sound and we run to the shelter. Miners need dynamite. Geologists in the emerging oil industry need dynamite. Research has I been a big part of the factory. Research and innovation. I do like a lad in a white coat. Nobel Ardea is now a part of the new Imperial Chemical Industries, ICI. Jobs for Good everyone! Jobs. Good jobs! Well paid jobs. Jobs for the boys. Jobs for the girls. 
good jobs, skilled jobs, well paid jobs. Loads of money. Jobs for good everyone. Jobs. Good jobs, well paid jobs. Jobs for the boys. Jobs for the girls. 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 I give you choice. I put power into your hands. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My dad's a coal miner. He works down at one of Lord Eglinton's pits. Or he did. See, there was an accident and my dad got hurt. We're not talking about your dad. 20 years, my dad worked for Eglinton. It's dirty work. Dangerous. What with the bad air and the coal dust and the floods and the roof collapsing. We're talking about someone much more important. Loads of money. Loads of money. Loads of money. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But we make the dynamite and the gel ignite and the debts and the safety fuses that's used in the pits. Guess what? Your great British army decides it's cheaper to buy munitions overseas. So with two of ICI Nobel's biggest customers gone throughout the 1980s and 1990s, production at our dear is scaled back. Thousands lose their jobs. Good jobs, skilled jobs, well-paid jobs. The whole area feels the loss. A century, a century and, and a half done and dusted. dusted. The, the bones, bones of buildings built, snarled and rusted. rusted. Working, Working lives, lives twisted, twisted and busted. And, busted. and, we, and we don't, don't know, know what, what we've got till it's, til it's gone. gone. Don't, don't know, know what we've lost till it's, til it's gone. gone. We, we had a factory. factory. Factory's the factory's gone. gone. You know what I miss the most? The long hours. The lack of health and safety provision. The zero respect from the wider community. The voices of hundreds of women and girls just talking and laughing at the end of their shift. I miss the lassies I worked with. I loved that job. I was part of something. You know, something bigger than me, bigger than Rachel Allison from Kyleswell Street, bigger than all of us. The debts mattered. We mattered. The sound of the marum grass on a breezy day. Folks still talk about Alfie and his factory. He sounds quite a guy. Wish I'd met him. Wish I'd met him. Wish I'd met him. Wish I'd met him. Oh, Miss Brandon. Mr. Nobel, can I call you Alfie? If I may call you Maggie. You may. It is a pleasure to meet you, Maggie. Likewise, Alfie. What are you doing way down here? Oh, just um, looking around. Not much left, just dune grass and, and sand. And rabbits, look. <laughs> and the rabbits. Your factory's mostly gone now, I. In its day, it was um, quite something. Made you a lot of money, made you famous. What are you doing way down here? We're telling your story. That is kind of you. You're a household name. You put our dear on the map. You're important. I couldn't have done it without you, Maggie. You and thousands like you. There's all sorts of wildlife down here now. Loads of insects, including the nationally scarce time pug moth. <laughs> I did not know that. Field mice, voles, deer. Foxes. I I've seen weasels in the early summer bounding through the long grass with their babies. Oh, the gorse in early May. So yellow it hurts your eyes. All the bees buzzing round the flowers. When the gorse comes out, you know spring's, spring's just, just around, around the corner. The corner.
We've told our story, and we've told it well. Our tale's not only about Alfie Nobel. It's the story of you, you, me, and we. So open your eyes, open your eyes, open your eyes. Let the truth set you free. Together we've made this. Together we are strong. Remember our names, remember our song. Together we have power. We're part of a team. Working together, dreaming our dream. Nitro, nitroglycerin, C, carbon atoms, 3, H, hydrogen, 5 of E, N, nitrogen, 2 is fine, O, oxygen, let's have 9, C, 3, H, 5, N, 2, O, 9. Sing it loud, sing it rhyme. <laughs>